Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a shorter one and in it I'm going to let you know about my recent experience with the H&N Slugs in 22 caliber with my Profit Performance version. And don't worry, it's not going to be all vlogging style video, there's going to be pigeon smacking involved. First of all, briefly about the H&N Slugs in 22 caliber. To the best of my knowledge they come in two different sizes, 0.217 and 0.218. And both these sizes come in five different weights. Is a 21, 23, 25, 27 and 30 grain. The barrel that I have on my Prophet 22 is the one that comes with the performance kit. This means a lot of outer barrel 600 mm with two hundredths of a millimeter choke and the very slow twist rate of 1 in 32 inches. As you can imagine with such a slow twist rate the manufacturer does not recommend that you use this barrel with slugs and neither does their very good reviewer and better tester, so to speak, Mr. Gregor Kamenchek. He was pretty explicit when he said, do not use this barrel with slugs. If you want to use slugs, just order the standard CZ barrel. The new one is actually a, a specially dedicated pellet barrel for long range. So the barrel that you can buy as an option is not appropriate for slugs. That's first of all, let's make this very clear. So they, it will not suit slugs well. If you intend to shoot slugs, then better to stick with the standard barrel because those, this barrel will sh shoot slugs well. But the custom barrel is de dedicated for heavy pellets like uh, JSB uh, Monster Redesign. Actually, this is the primary uh, pellet to go if you get this barrel. And this is the, the advantage of this barrel is that the pellet will be sa stable at at virtually almost uh, close to supersonic speeds and I've tested this. But still I wanted to see how it is going to perform with slugs and I tested the H&Ns because there is a very nice variety of sizes and weights. Now I spent literally hours in the shooting range testing all these H&N slug types and I noticed almost immediately that my barrel didn't like the 0 0.217. And I think that's pretty understandable, that's because it's a polygonal barrel and it has a very small choke, which means less friction. So I went along with the 0.218. Testing at different velocities, I noticed that the 25 grainers were the ones my barrel liked most. So I chose them, I bought some more tins and then I started shooting for groups while still trying different velocities. The best groups that I had with the 25 grainers were at a velocity of 855 to 860 feet per second. It might seem to you as a low velocity for slugs, but I tried lower velocities, I tried higher velocities, and that was the velocity at which I got the best groups. And I'm talking about 5 short groups at 50 meters or 55 yards with a size of 8 mm up to 12, 30 mm center to center. Of course, to me what matters the most is how these perform in the field. So the next day I headed to my permission and I started shooting pigeons with them at medium to long distances. The first several shots that I took were at a distance of 50 to 65 meters, that's roughly 55 to 75 yards. And at those medium distances, or what you might describe as a medium air gunning distance, the H&N slugs performed great. They were hitting where I was aiming and I was pretty happy with that. And then I stretched the distance out to 100, 105 meters, which is roughly 110 to 115, 116 yards. And then it was quite a different story, I'm afraid. The next shots you're about to see are those long shots I was talking about. I kept missing my target on numerous occasions. As you can see, there was some projectile spiraling, uh, the slug kept deflecting uh, sideways 5 to 6 inches on some occasions and there was no good reason for that because that day the wind was two miles per hour as you know as you shooters know that's virtually no wind at all Now 
Eventually I managed to pull off only a couple of semi-successful shots at that distance of 110 to 115 yards. And I say semi-successful because both these pigeons hit the ground, but they were alive and I had to take follow-up shots. So let's summarize, if you own the RTI Arms Prophet and you have the 22 performance version barrel with it and you're also dead set on shooting slugs, I really wouldn't advise you shoot those past distances of 60 to 70 yards. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, I know it was shorter than usual but I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned, more pest destruction videos coming soon, be safe and healthy, shoot straight, see you soon.